Did you see that, bro? I got nothing but... <laughs> Crawford be making these dudes look like they ain't shit. Bro, everybody was telling me that Errol Spence, Errol Spence was the best welterweight. And that Terrence Crawford was overrated and he was fighting nothing but bums. And Terrell and, 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 and Errol Spence was the truth because he was fighting the top dudes in welterweight. So leading up to this fight, everyone was like, yo, this is going to be easy money. Terrence Crawford is going to get exposed, bro. Tell me why Terrence Crawford beat the living shit out of Errol Spence. That was a one-sided ass whooping. Like he literally gave him a ass whooping. He dropped him like, ten, like fucking, I, I lost count. I lost count how many times he dropped Errol Spence, bro. But it was a, a bunch. He whooped his ass. This was supposed to be Terrence Crawford's toughest opponent in his career. Homie, this was supposed to be the most difficult fight in Terrence Crawford's career. It ended up being one of the easiest fights in his career. He literally beat the living shit out of Errol Spence. Like, Crawford is one of these dudes. Like, he's a special fighter, dude. I'm telling you, he's special. I knew he was special back then when I first saw him. And just to see this guy throughout throughout his career always being doubted, even when he fought Ricky Burns 10 years ago and he went to uh, Scotland or Glasgow, people were writing him off back then. Every time people write this man off, he fucking proves them wrong. And he... Bro, this, this was supposed to be the most difficult fight for Terrence Crawford, and it was an easy night's work. He beat the shit out of uh, Errol Spence. And Errol Spence is no joke. Errol Spence is the truth. Errol Spence is elite. But he looked terrible compared to... This is how... You know how they say there's levels in boxing, bro? Like, yo, there's everybody's always like, there's levels in boxing, bro. What I just found out tonight was that as good as Errol Spence was, he's not in the level of a Terrence Crawford. He's just not. He, he got his ass whooped. You know, at this point, Crawford could, could just retire. He's undisputed. Crawford is officially undisputed at welterweight, just like he was undisputed at light welterweight. So he's officially a two-time undisputed fighter, right? I knew he was special when he became undisputed at 140 pounds. And back then, people were like, oh, he only became undisputed at 140 because the division was weak. Well, now he became undisputed at 147. Yo, this guy's amazing, bro. You know what? I would not be mad if Terrence decides to retire. At this point, what else does he have to prove? There's nothing else he needs to prove. He beat the book. Errol Spence was the boogeyman. He literally beat the boogeyman in his division. There's nothing else he needs to prove. I have nothing but respect by, for Terrence Crawford. I think this guy is amazing. He's an amazing talent. He whooped Errol Spence's ass. And I still respect Errol Spence because he tried. But it just wasn't a co competitive fight. It was a one-sided beatdown. Man, you have to respect... Yo, a a Terrence Crawford is like the Michael Jordan of boxing. He's just... He, he has that it factor. Like, he has this ability to figure you out. Once he figures you out, it's game over. It's... Done. He will whoop your ass. This, I just, I can't believe how easy this fight was for Terrence Crawford, man. And Errol Spence, you know, and I love the ending of the fight where they went up to each other and they were like telling him, they were giving each other respect. <sighs> That's crazy, bro. You gotta, you, you, even if you don't like Terrence Crawford's style, you gotta respect the dude, yo. The dude is, is, is special. He truly is special. He's a special athlete. Like I said, if he decides to retire, Good for him. At this point, he, he has what? He's won. He's fought 40 times. He's undefeated. He's undisputed at welterweight. He's a two-time undisputed and a two-division undisputed champion. There's nothing else he needs to prove. What else does he need to prove? Let him just retire. I think he should retire. You know? Oh, they're going to be like, oh, just fight Boots. Boots hasn't fought nobody, bro. Boots is a, is a bum, in my opinion. He hasn't fought nobody. 
Crawford could should just retire, in my opinion. Anyway, what do you guys thought of this fight? I thought this fight was insanely. I was shocked how I thought it was going to be more competitive. I thought this was going to be a more competitive fight. It ended up being ended up being a one sided fight for Crawford. But man, you gotta respect Crawford, bro. You got to.